Uh, uh, it's got to be a quick goodbye. Uh. Well, well, everyone found work at 31. That means everyone survived Space Oddity and we're all safely back on Earth today. No gimmicks, no games, just straight back to some big building block basics. Woo! It's 60 today, 5 by 12 instead of the 70 that we did before Space Oddity. Let's just get to the board, get to the warm up, and smash this workout. Here we go. So, we're going to do that 60 rep instead of the 70 rep warm up mini circuit. We have 60 swings, kettlebell or dumbbell, 60 push ups, elevated or flat on the ground, and 60 dead bug little core primers to go off of mat. Piece of cake. I'll probably chunk that out into six sets of 10 real quick. Main work sets today is the 5 by 12. We're going to go uh, 5 by 12 deadlift. So you got your heavy kettlebell. I showed you that trick with the band to wedge between your feet so a kettlebell can instantly be double the weight without having to buy two. I'll probably go kettlebell and get some heavy barbell work right after that. Incline press. Again, incline press, you can go off your ball on the ground, lean on the couch, whatever you need to do. I'll use the incline bench as well and I'll stick to double dumbbell press for that. And then we have a 300 meter row segment for me is our conditioning segment. So the time it takes me to hit the 300 meter row will be the time you, if you don't have a cardio machine at home, will have to skip with a real rope, a fake rope, run on the spot, super high knees on the spot, or sprawls. We're sticking to those as our conditioning alternatives. That's it. Let's hit the floor quick, get primed for the uh, workout, and then we'll get into that 60 rep mini circuit. Here we go. All right, for warm-ups today, you need a mat, something you can deadlift for sumo stands to get the deadlift primed. We have enough push-ups coming, we don't have to do any of that. And then we have our big band up high somewhere for the chest distraction position. Let's get started on the floor first. We'll go onto our backs. Okay, we've done, I think, every one of these moves, so it should all be pretty familiar. Let's just wipe the hips a few times. Get a first crack out if there is one waiting. All right, and then glute bridge reach. So arms to your side, we're gonna push up, roll, Reach way overhead, wrestler suplex, down, up, opposite side, push through the opposite foot. This mat's really slippery, so it's not the best. Roll right over onto the shoulder. One more per side. Awesome. Flipping over. We love our cat cows. So spine flexion extension. Up and down. Anyone have anything to say about space oddity? Loved it, hated it, got lost 17 times. Didn't know what the heck was going on. It's typical. <laughs> T-spine twist, finger on temple, elbow to elbow, work that elbow higher to ceiling. Good, I hit my 12 o'clock, go to the next side. Feel the range, a little more, a little more. Awesome. And that goes away. Not too far because we'll need that in a sec. Okay, let's go. A nice wide stance. We'll get that hinged double pulse. So again, from side, I'm hinging back still. I'm not falling over on my toes. Find your center of balance. Pulse, pulse, high reach, open that big circle. Keep going. Pulse, pulse. I reach, pulse, 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 pulse. 
last one there. Good. <sighs> Hamstring sweeps. Pull that toe high. Still sitting back into the hinge. Start with the long grass. Sweep that long, tall meadow grass. Work the range and start reaching deeper, deeper, deeper until we're hopefully on a golf green. I can see the bur burn melted marks almost from my airlock feet swipes from Space Oddity there. Maybe I gotta mop all the rest of the floor now. Okay, chest distraction. We loop the wrist up, grip, so we're not actually having to hold onto the band. Open the chest up, fall away, and rotate the wrist up as we fall. So every rep's got a movement in the wrist. That intensifies the stretch. Remember, it's just a magic number 10. You don't have to hang out here all day. Nice. Next side. If you don't have the band, you're just on the wall. Almost does the same thing, but you don't get that passive element where the band's doing the work for you. Great. Get that out of the way. And then get your light implement. That's a probably dumbbell on end or one kettlebell. Okay, we'll just do our perfect. I'll go side profile. Okay, our perfect deadlifts. It's going to be sumo stance. So my butt's traveling back. I'm, arms are going straight down plumb line. Picking up weight. Nice and slow to the top. Down. There's no limit on how many you do of these. I'll go maybe 15 to feel good. Back dead straight, lats pulled down and back. That's it. Done. Happy. Satisfied. Okay. We'll do a quick little, little uh, splash wipe. Getting ready for that warm up. 60 swing, 60 push ups, and on your back, the dead bug. Very easy. We're going to hold a hollow position to make it a core movement and not a recovery movement. So get ready for that. Sip of water, get your towel nearby, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, back for that 60 rep blast off circuit. I guess I shouldn't say blast off because Space Odyssey's dead. The warm up circuit. Remember, power from the hip, full extension on the swing, full range of motion on the push up so you're elevated to find the angle that works for you. And then dead bug. We're going to be up in the hollow. You'll see that when we get there. I said I was going to do six rounds, so let's do that right now. Swings, load and go. Down out in front. Push up. Just going strict off the floor. Chin has to get out of the way. Only chest touches ground there. Okay, and then you have your mat real close. Watch me here. I'm gonna get in the hollow. Opposite limbs. Extend back, extend back. You can't go into a flailing tantrum. Make it distinct and hold your torso off the ground. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, 
eight, nine, ten, ten. Ugh. Awesome. That's it. I have a 55 pound bell. I'm going to switch to an 80 pounder halfway. Second round, no breaks. There it is. If you haven't seen it, you should go check check out my 10,000 10,000 swing workout challenge. Dan John, I think was the guy that posed it. And it's a, it's just nasty. It's 500 swings per workout, I think, for 20 days straight or 30 days. You can chunk it up, do it a little less. Good. Just keep the rhythm going, see if you can get a little sweat by the end of this. Hold that hollow. There's a knife on the ground behind you you can't slip into. If you have any left brain, right brain weaknesses, you're going to expose it here trying to sink up the limbs. Yeah, it's starting to burn. Uh, whole key is uh, holding your little baby hollow curl, core curl. Three, we're on three. Here we go. Loading my green for the last time. Locked quads. Lock the quads. It's a powerful hip hinge. 10 push up. That's good. Back in a dead bug, catch your breath while you're here. Stay up. Stay up. Yeah, ten ten. Okay, we're gonna go jump up to a heavier bell. Anytime the weight gets heavier, you don't have to swing the full height. Get out of the way. Stay there. Just demands more power from you. You're the boss of the bell. The bell doesn't boss you around. Oh, that was nice. Kettlebell swings are always good. Deadlift warm up. Nice. Dead bug position again. Opposite, opposite. Full stop, full stop. Three, three, four. Hold the hollow. Stay up. Got to see wrinkles. On the shirt, remember if it irons out, you've lost it, never an arch in your low back, unless you're braced by an ab mat. Uh. 
40's done. Going on to 50s. Oh. I kind of feel sketched being between the rack swinging, but I guess it's okay. Here we go. Bracing, pulling back the lats, loading the hip. Timing the breath. Explode the hip. Dropping down for push up. And for speed, find the angle that lets you kind of keep up a quick pace. Don't want to get sloppy fast, but we don't want to roadblock ourselves now because we have 60 incline press coming up. Got it. Okay, heading into our last set. Okay, 80 pound bell one more time. Loading. Don't tip over. Perfect set down, perfect set down. Here we go. Last 10 push ups. Remember, quads don't touch, stomach doesn't, chest does, chin lands at the same time, chest does. Go. That gets the push pattern warmed up. Last dead bug, really high hollow, really hold it curled up. Hold it high. Then, oh man, that's deceptive. Woo! All right, we're rolling. I told you we're gonna blitz this workout. Five sets left, that doesn't sound so bad. So we'll tidy up. We're getting ready for your deadlift implement. Remember, start using those bands if you only have the lighter kettlebells because you really gotta be pushing towards being able to lift your own body weight at least. So I'll start with two kettlebells and I'm gonna to go to barbell just to keep it heavy for me. Incline setup. I'll use that ball as a cheap incline for the first set. And then I'm just going to my cozy bench with dumbbells. And then I'll pull 300 meter row, minute 17-ish, I think. And you guys are doing your machine at home, skipping, rowing, sprawls, or running on the spot. So get all that going and I'll see you in a sec. All right, ready to rip. Set one, 12 reps. Deadlift, I'm doing double greens just to warm up. I have the in-kind ball behind me and the rower ready to rip. So let's do it. Get into your first set of 12 deadlifts. Nice and easy. Now a big hip hinge pattern.
piece of cake. All right, getting into this is a little difficult, more difficult than the move. Laying down, I'm gonna lean on the ball, get my two 50 pounders here. Just stick it down, you can see my incline position. Chest doesn't know if I'm on a bench or not. The extra range of motion from the ball, I can get my elbows to touch ground. There's always gonna be more than a wider bench. Expect yourself to be sapped because we've done 60 push-ups already. Put it down nicely. No wobble, don't tip over. All right, I'm hopping onto the rower. Get your conditioning element ready. Skipping rope, cardio machine, or just your body weight for imagination. Where are we at? Calories, units. Here we go. Go. That's a hundred. My spine is just touching the plates behind me over halfway. Hundred to go. Oh, this is sketchy. That's it, minute on the dot. No problem. Water break, breather. See you back in a sec. Load up, get everything heavier if you can. Okay, we're back for set two. I jumped to the barbell. I'm going to 185 just so I can get into my heavier weights. Incline bench now, 55 pound dumbbells, I think. Yes, and then row is still the same. It's looking like it's gonna be an even minute. No problem there. Let's go lift safe, lift aggressive. The 12 rep range is heavy enough. It should start to challenge your grip. Everyone at home, you know the rules. Slower with pausing if you're doing lighter weight. If it's heavy, you're just going for it. Conventional stance. The baby's sleeping. Complete. Oh, a little wave, a little wave. Catch your breath. Get my dumbbells ready here. Dumbbells are up, they go on your legs. You sit back, kick, kick. Here we go. No talking. Back onto the legs. 
catch absorb. Get ready for conditioning. I thought those were 60s, but Kara had been in here when she tossed out the little 2.5 pounders. So I'll jump those to 60 next set. You wanna kinda of keep the pace, keep yourself out of breath. You can always recover during the water break breather segment. Here we go, I shouldn't hit the back now. So I'm gonna put a little more juice into this, go. Hundred. Halfway. Keep moving. Oh. Fifty to go. That's it. 58 seconds, perfect. Catch your breath. See you back in a sec. Set three. Okay, back for set three. Went to 205, I'm gonna go conventional, stay for this weight, do a sumo round, and then I'll go 225 for the final fifth set. My grip is just slipping at the end, so we'll see what happens. Shouldn't be any re-grips, maybe there will be. Stay safe, have fun. 60 pounders on the incline press. Here we go, get your 12 reps rocking. No bouncing. <laughs> Halfway. Grip, slipping just at the end from sweat. Oh, get that surge, get that wave passed. Oh, you can't perform out of breath. So you guys just sit down and take a time out. And if you're not feeling like this after 12 reps, you gotta find a way to increase capacity on yourself. Utilize those power band deadlifts. Or if you have the space, you only need two feet by eight feet. Tiny little sliver for barbell. Here we go. Dumbbells up. Kicking, kicking, commit. There's 10, 11, 12. And I do want to rush that, so I'm heading right to the rower. It's gonna choke us of our recovery. I'm averaging perfect minute here, so Let's prepare for that. Get your implement ready. Three, two, one, go.
Halfway. Ah, that was it. That was it. 58. Ah. Ah. That's almost all out. Oh. So you got to feel like this. Ah. Got to be gasping. It's got to be a one minute tough spiked conditioning component with the lifting of weight. Okay, water break breather. See you back for set four in a second. <laughs> okay, back for set four. Make sure your grip's nice and dry. I'm setting up for sumo. Everything is the same. Let's rock. Nice big sumo stance, toes flare. I'm going to try to get my pinkies just to hit the outside of the knurling. Everyone at home is doing your own thing. Remember, just slow your pace down to make it more difficult. Gotta get a regrip. I got nothing to hold here. It's a slippery barbell. There it is. I'm taking a seat. Oh, I'm drooling. Deep breath, slow it down as oh, soon as you can. 60 pounders. Getting it, getting it. Here we go. Kick, kick, commit. Halfway. Ten. Twelve. Okay, I'm gonna choke our conditioning here. Or choke the recovery. Get set right up. You can be mixing it up. Skips for all, run on the spot. High knees. Do it all. Ah. See if I can hit the minute again. Three, two, one, go. Halfway.
Legs burning. Ah. 57 seconds. Ah. Holy crap. Ah. Oh. You can definitely make high knees feel that way. Oh. Uh, okay, I need a minute. I need a minute. Recover fully for set five. Oh, see you there in a sec. Uh. <laughs> Oh, 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 we're back, set five. You caught me zenning out. I've caught my breath, Whoa. ready to go. Conventional stance, 225, 60 pound dumbbells, hard, one minute finale. Here we go to the finish. And I'm getting pretty slick, so I might need a regrip. Don't judge. Eight, pulling back. Tough part about stopping is your heart rate surges. It's tough to get back in. Get my grip. No switch grip in magic right now. Just grip it and rip it. You don't need any cheating tactics. Just raw grip strength. Oh, woke up the baby. Always doing the last rep. Ah, catch your breath. Legs are a little soft. Oh, it's nice to, rack's always here. I always got something to brace on. Okay, give me a moment. Give me a moment. If you're doing lighter deadlifts, you might still be doing reps right now. Can't talk. Can't talk. Holy shit. Okay. Incline press. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Kick it up. One, two. Just slower than you want to go. Ten, and if you can lock out, it's actually a rest position. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Get out. Okay, quick as you can. Make your way over uh, to your cardio zone, conditioning zone, we should say. Burps from the depths. Oh. Here we go. I'm gonna put the afterburners on. Three, two, one, go.
100 to go. Oh, not burning, losing it. Uh, it's got to be a quick goodbye. Uh, just grip it and rip it. Uh, we did it. Next workout's the same. I think it's the nasty Bulgarian coming back. Holy shit. Okay. I'm out. Share with a friend, do it with a friend. Uh, keep on rocking. Let's do it. 32 next. Mm -hmm.